Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a post grid using Elementor. This is the demo of the post grid that we are going to create. The demo is created with free Elementor and a plugin called Post Grid Elementor add on, which is also free. This plugin comes with lots of features and different layouts, which you can see in this demo. For this, let's start with the plugin installation. You can go to plugins, click on add new, search post create elementor add on. and install it please activate it after you activate elementor and post git elementor add-on plugins simply go to pages add new page name it whatever you like i will say it blog select a template of your choice i will select elementor full width for now and publish it once you publish the page edit this page with elementor you can add a single column layout and click here to find wizards available on Elementor. You can scroll down to see post grid or you can type here to find post grid Elementor add on widget. Simply drag it to the section that you have created. Now you can see that post grid in a default layout. It comes with them. Um, different layouts which you can select from here it comes with five different layouts this is a layout 2 layout 3 layout 4 and layout 5 so let let us start with layout 1 you can change the number of post per column from here it is 3 by default you can also change the number of column posts to show in that particular column on different devices like tablets and mobile phones let's say if you want to show two posts in a mobile you can simply select two from this drop down getting back to de desktop mode in this demo i'm going to show three posts per column and you can also change the number of post per row from this section there are three posts per row in this demo let's say you can show two rows each having three posts then you can simply set it six and you can see three, two rows with three posts in each row we can show or hide image using these settings if you want to hide image simply hide it or you can show it if it, it is required we can also change the size of the image from here all the image sizes defined on this theme will be available here I am selecting full width for now full size images for now this is the section where we can show or hide our title of the post if you want to hide the title you can simply hide it and show it within a click with a click we can also change the tags of uh, title as for our need sometimes we may need, need it as a deep or we may need it as a span or we may need it as a heading tags in this section we can show or hide metadata like 
author date categories and comments if you do not want to show any of this metadata you can simply remove them and this all the meta information will be hidden if you like to show author of the post you can simply select it date or if you want to select categories you can simply select it or if you want to show the number of comments of this post you can select comments so in this demo i'm going to show you only author and on date of the post we can also change the separator between different meta informations we can use pipe or we can use forward slash or any other separator you wish with this option we can show or hide post excerpt and control the length of the excerpt that we want to show let's say change it to 15 or to 10 you can control the length of the excerpt which you want to show in a grid of your post in this settings we can show or hide read more button and change it according to our need let's say keep reading or you can change it and with this setting you can align the orientation of title and other information you can align it right you can align it center or you can align it left this is the setting where we can select a particular category or other query parameters let's say i want to display the post from only from lifestyle then i can select lifestyle category or if i want to show the post from lifestyle and photography i can select both of them with this option you can order the post by title date or with the random order i can order it with title date or it can be a random order and you can order it as in ascending order or a descending order as for your need after you change all the setting you can update it now we can go to style tab to find different list styling layout options our first option is layout option where we can change the margin of rows and columns the first option column margin can be used to increase or decrease the space between two items we can use from 0 to 100 depending on our need and the second option is row margin it can be used to increase or decrease the space between two rows it also can be from 0 to 100 we can set it as per our need the next option is box of each item we can change border background and other styling of each item using this option for example we can start with border width of each item say two pixel of each item we can also change the border radius if we need and we can change the space inside the item using padding available here we can also assign background at normal and mouse over state of each box using this option let's say i want to have certain background and i can also change border color from here i like to change it to back black and i can also assign a box shadow if i need at hover state i can make it a different background let's say i want to have a green background at hover state and border can be 
blue if I need at a hover state. And I can enable box shadow at hover state. Now we can uh, style image to set a border radius or margin as per our need. If you wish to assign a border radius to image, you can say use this option. Let's say I want to have a border radius around the I want to have a curve radius around the images, then you, we can use border radius. Or if you want to use different radius for different corners, you can disable it and have this option. Let's say I want to have uh, 50 here and This option allow us to change the uh, space between image. You can use this option to say like, um, assign different spaces from top, left, right, bottom, and left. Say let's say I want to have 10 pixel space around the image, then I can use 10. Or if you want to have different options, then you can disable it and give a specific space using this option after image we can use the styling option of a title we can change the typography of a title let's say i want to use railway i can change font of size of from here i can also change font weight and other different options i also can change color from here it can be a different for normal and hover state and i can also change the space between the title and other information after the title we you can change typography of meta same as the title color and space and same option available for content as well this is the option for read more button we can use different color if we need to separate it from other information and use typography if you want to change font size and other option of the read more link after we complete styling option of the grid we can update or save the setting and exit to dashboard and check the page that we have recently created you can see the post grid that we have created just now if you need to have different layouts you can go back to the elementor setting click on the edit of this postscript item and change the layout from this option which you can you can see it here or you can check it at the front side so you can use different layouts as per your need This is the peep layout which looks like a box layout with this we are done with um, the demo showing how to create a post grid using elementor and a post grid elementor add-on both of these plugins are free which you can download from wordpress.org and have a post grid on your website thank you guys for watching if you have any feedback or suggestion please comment below or contact me have a great day